<laughs> All right, everyone. I think it's a good time that we will practice meditation together. Uh, I just would like to say hi to everyone first. Miss Lena, Swadika. Hello. Miss Kathleen, Miss Laurel, Miss Helene, and Miss Joanne. Swadika, thank you so much for joining us. And Mr. Ku uh, Mr. Ama, I remember you. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you so much. And I think it's a good time that we will practice meditation together. And our session today, as usual, our venerable today will be Venerable Shiana will be our guest speaker of our GTM for today's session. And uh, we'll practice meditation 20 to 30 minutes, as usual. And after that, he will, um, in, it is a wisdom talk. So he will talk about the topic is that, uh, is it? human nature or the trick of development so i think it's interesting so we will uh we'll wait for that session in the wisdom talk and if you have any uh, questions regarding the topics today or anything that you would like to share in our q a session so please don't hesitate to let us know turn on your microphone uh, if you don't want to turn on your microphone, you can share your experiences or your question in the chat box. So I can read and then Venerable Shiannon can answer your question in the chat box. All right, everyone. I think everyone is ready for uh, meditation. So please respectfully welcome our Venerable to our program at, the, at this moment, Venerable Shiannon. Right, we'll pay respect to him together by bowing three times. Thou, thou, thou. Hi, everybody. Do you hear me well? <clears throat> okay, uh, first session will be practicing meditation together and uh, the second part is wisdom talk. And in the end, we have Q&A. Okay, I think we ready for practice meditation together now. Let's start. <clears throat> How was it, everybody? Good one. So the next the next session will be Samba talk. Okay, um, the topic today is, is it human nature or the trick of defilement? My name is Prachayanon Kichananto. Okay. Uh, very often that when something happened and it's beyond our control we will say that no it is a human nature but uh, we don't realize that what happened what what's 
behind the scene, who's working behind the scene. You see my PowerPoint, my screen. Okay, right. So when our defining when we have some emotion like uh, greed, anger, jealousy, and irrationality arise. We tend to claim that it is human nature. It is human nature. If we have that idea and we think that way, we can't see what's behind this thing, who's working behind the thing. Uh, particularly those feelings, those uh, emotions, is negative emotion. Hate, greed, lust, anger, revenge, jealousy, prejudice, ignorance. It's kind of beyond our control. So we say, oh, it's a human nature. Because throughout our lives, we have been taught that we must maintain our human right. For example, somebody hurt you verbally and you get angry. People always say that I have the right to be angry. But we have never analyzed who has been behind such teaching because we've been teaching since we were born and we consider that it's kind of normal, it's kind of, uh, you know, human rights. So we overlook that. We never wonder why that teaching is like that. And claiming our right. Well, I, I was right, but you were wrong. The other side, if, if we have quarrel, if we have quarrel, the other side was, I was right, but you were wrong also. This saying the same thing. A guy said, I'm, I'm right, but you are wrong. The other guy, I'm right. But you are wrong. So where is the line drawing between right and wrong? Uh, you know, if we draw one line, this side will say, hey, 
it's going to be decide that I'm, 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 I'm right and you are wrong. And the other side, I'm right, you are wrong. So it's hard to draw the, the right or wrong, the line between the quarrel. Human nature is neither good nor bad. But our minds are driven by defilements to do bad things. Our original mind, our mind is a kind of uh, pure energy. The original mind is pure. Neutral. So it's not good, not bad. But defilement drive us to do bad things, to think the evil thing. That's most of the time. But on the other hand, we rarely have anyone to drive us to do good. If your whole life uh, that you have 50, 50 good, uh, 50 bad, you, you, you are very lucky. But most of the time, very rare. to have someone to drive us to do good. Because why? Because our mind is like water that always flow to a lower place and transforms itself to conform to its container. If we pour the water into a glass, you know, the, it forms the shape of that glass. And the water in the river will flow down from the high level to the low level. So that, that's the nature of it. Our mind is also like that. If doing the good thing is harder than doing bad thing. So therefore, in order to make a river flow upstream, it takes a lot more effort. Because, the, you know, the, we try to uh, against the nature of the man of the of the mind. Our original mind was pure and neutral. It has been plagued with physical sufferings, hunger, fear and ignorance. Our original mind was pure and neutral, but, uh, you know, it has been plagued with physical suffering, hunger, fear, and ignorance. Defilements tend to influence us to think negatively and to rejoice in those negative thoughts. You know, the, the trick of defilement, it's 
one by one. For example, if somebody make you angry, uh, the defilement will make that one to make you angry. That's that's first shot. And if you think positively, if you think positively and you want to uh, forgive, the second shot, the second shot from the five will make you think, hey, it's your right. You have the right to be angry because they hurt you. If there is some somebody to the hey, uh, let's for, 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 forgive, forget about it. Let's go. If somebody say that, and the next chart of the finance too will say, how can you overlook your your right to be angry? So don't go or something like that, you know, but, and make you feel a joy of doing that, a joy of claiming the right to be angry. Once in a while, there will be good things or good people to help as a good friend to recommend and guide us. Just once, once in a while, uh, there will be good, good people to try to recommend, to guide you to do, to do good things. Unfortunately, Defilement work all the time. That side once in a while, but defilement work all the time with our break. Constantly tempting us to think negatively. To think negatively. Defilement therefore take advantage of this opportunity to make people obsessed with right and wrong notion to escape from other virtue instead of let you think of virtues. They will try to, hey, you are right. That guy were wrong. Try to upset you with the right or wrong notion to escape from other virtues. And other virtue. What is other virtue? Like uh, loving kindness, like uh, compassion, like uh, sympathetic joy, and the way to practice that is to give without expecting anything in return. If we give something away without expecting anything in return, that's the step to uh, cultivate virtue or cultivate merits. Forgive, forgive to forget. If you cannot forgive, you cannot forget and you keep remembering that 
when you have time, whenever you have time, you recall that and hurt yourself. You know, the one who, the one who uh, hurt you verbally, they have some good night's sleep. They hurt you once, but you keep calling and hurt you many times more. They have the good night's sleep, but you cannot sleep and keep thinking about that bad thing and recall that and hurt yourself because you cannot forgive. Observing precept, observing precept, like not to kill, not to steal, not to do adultery, not to tell a lie, not to consume a high degree of uh, alcohol or drugs. Observing precept is something you give not to kill it, give the security of, uh, of life to, to others. Not to steal is keep, uh, give security of property of others. Not to do adultery is give the security of, of family life. Not to tell a lie is to give trust to other. And if you get high with uh, alcohol or drugs, make you do the first four things easily. The the last one, the profound one is to practice meditation. Practicing meditation is to steal your mind, to stop thinking, to regain the power of your mind. You have lost uh, power of your mind, lifetime by lifetime. But to steal your mind, to stop thinking, to steal your mind, is the process that you regain the power of your mind. So this is the good thing, the virtue that we should have done. And if we keep doing this way, stop thinking, don't follow the defilement. This is the good thing that we should do. Once again, other virtues, loving kindness, compassion, sympathetic joy, giving, forgiving, observing precept and practicing meditation to cultivate merits and to regain the power of your mind. Okay, uh, that's it for the day. Thank you for listening to the Dhamma talk. I hope it's useful for you for daily life and for make up your mind to steal your mind while you practice meditation next time. Okay. Uh, is there any question? Is there any question?
โอเคแพนดาสาธุค่ะ Thank you so much Venerable c h i a n o for um uh, for your being a uh, GTM today Thank you so much and we receive a lot of knowledge regarding the department and also um the Uh, good deeds that we should perform in our daily life. Thank you so much for that. I think we can apply this knowledge in our daily life. Uh, and today, I think it's a good time that we shall uh, have a group photo together. Okay, so I will take group photo together for all of you. So put p o s t e r p u n k together like this. So I will take group photo. Okay, one. 